CPR is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Infant CPR would begin if the baby is not breathing and unresponsive. To check for breathing, you can feel the breast on your cheek and also see the chest rise. The chest is not rising and falling, the baby is not breathing. You can also check for responsive by tapping the baby's foot. Baby, are you okay? Are you okay? The baby is not responsive and not breathing, you would want to begin CPR. Infant CPR hand placement is at the nipple line in the middle, one finger width below the nipple line is where you begin compressions. Compressions should be about a third of the chest depth, about one to one and a half inches deep, okay? Make sure when you do a compression that the chest recoils up. So one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10, and 11 and 12 and 13 and 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's about 100 to 120 beats per minute. After compressions, you're gonna wanna give the baby two breaths. The breath should be about one second long. To give the baby to breath, you want to cover the nose and the mouth with your mouth. Before giving breath, make sure the baby's head is in a neutral position where the nose is looking at the ceiling. Make sure the chest rise and falls after each breath. If it does not, you'll need to reposition the baby's head. To continue CPR, you'll go 30 compressions, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 to two breaths. If you are alone and need to begin CPR, you'll want to do five rounds of chest compressions and breaths before you call 911. If you have somebody with you, shout out for them to call 911 while you start CPR. You'll wanna continue CPR until the baby becomes responsive or help arrives. When performing CPR, you wanna ensure that the baby's on a flat, hard surface, so a tabletop or the floor would work for CPR.